Hi Scorpio, welcome to your angel reading for January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming by and coming back. So Scorpio, I decided to switch it up this month instead of doing messages from your uh, spirit guides. I'm doing an angel card reading instead. I may discontinue this uh, spiritual based type of reading. I'm not sure. They don't really get a lot of views. So I'd rather give you guys what you enjoy and want to see rather than doing readings that nobody's really watching. I enjoy doing all the readings I'm doing. So uh, I may discontinue that. But if I do continue it, I may change the theme every month. So one month it may be spirit messages, one month angel messages, one month spirit animal messages, one month you know, divine messages from the universe or one month, you know, mystical messages from the unicorns and um, fairies and things like that or spirit animal messages. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below if you would like me to continue these spiritual readings or if you just like to see love readings. I may just do bi-weekly love readings. I may also discontinue the tarot forecast, which is more of a general reading as they don't really get a lot of views either. So, um, Again, let me know what you think in the comments. And I just started a new series a few weeks ago. It's a Element Weekly Tarot Forecast. It's called uh, Love, Life, and Advice. And that's not really getting a lot of views either. So I may try it out a couple more weeks. If it doesn't pick up, I may also stop that. For now, I may in the future, as the, ch as the channel uh, progresses and grows, I may in the future incorporate them back in. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but like I said, leave me some comments. And if you're totally new, you can check out my channel, all the readings I have been doing. And if you like what you see, you can leave comments too, if you like. So that being said, Scorpio, I didn't want to go on too long about that, but I want to get some feedback from you guys. So, so Scorpio, welcome in. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Happy New Year. So let's see what your angel team wants you to know at this time. And I do say it at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, you know, feel free. Your links are below to your playlist. Also, and there's a tons of stuff down there in the description box, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media links. If you'd like to send a gift or donate or anything like that. All that information is below, so tons of stuff down there. So feel free to check it out. Okay, Scorpio. So that was the Guardian Angel deck, and I'm gonna pull three messages from each deck, and then we'll clarify each card, oracle card, with one tarot card, so get more meaning into your messages. So for Scorpio, you are my last angel reading for January. And basically, this is my last series for January, and then I'll be starting February already. Can you believe that? Crazy. It's just crazy. But thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Uh, if you're new and subscribed, thank you. If you reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, sent a gift, whichever way you've uh, supported me in the channel is really, really appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you, thank you. Wow. Hey, these cards are like jumping. One more. Okay, there we go. For Scorpio. So let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. This is the Guardian Angel deck, and I probably will read from the book as these have a lot of meaning to them. So this is from Archangel Michael, Presence. We have Harmony. And we have Communication. So we have three different uh, messages from three different um, archangels here. So the first one is from Archangel Michael. So if you'd like to uh, do some research on him, maybe he's somebody that can help you. So we have presence here. So let's see. I will read um, from the book here. So you get the full meaning of the card. As I align myself to the loving presence of the divine, I too am aware of my own presence among others. Each of us has presence as a, a spiritual energy that other people can sense as soon as they meet us. Those with negative presence give out negative energy that overpowers others or drives them away. 
People with weak presence may often be overlooked by others. However, people with positive presence radiate a wonderful warm energy that draws others toward them. The angel of presence directs you to let your presence shine forth for the good of all. Open your heart to the angel and ask her to show you the positive, beautiful aspects in the people around you as well as in yourself. Building your confidence will enhance your own presence and light the spark of the divine in the hearts of everyone around you. So some of you may need to work on your personal power, your personal growth, your um, positive energy, your confidence, making your presence known is also what I'm getting. So this next card here, outlined in red, is from Archangel Uriel. So if you want to look that angel up, uh, you can do that. And his message for you is harmony. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but um, he. Okay, it's a he. So let's see. Harmony. His message is harmony. So we have here. When my mind, body, and soul are in harmony, I am at one with the universe. If all aspects of your being are in harmony, you will enjoy your inner peace. You will also create tranquil energy around you, and your thoughts, words, and actions will add to the flow of positive energy through the universe. The angel of harmony can help you to bring all areas of yourself in your life in tune. Call on the angel for support in calming your inner being to encourage this, enrich your home with fine books, music, and decor, and avoid films or music based on violence or negativity. Ask her to help you spread harmony into the wider world by showing kindness and consideration to everyone you meet, and by respecting the earth and using its resources with care. So being at peace and harmony with yourself, the world, those around you, or maybe you need to be in that energy. So now we have communication, which is under Archangel Gabriel. And and that message for you is communication. I connect with the oneness of all creation as I communicate from the heart. The best way to communicate with anyone is from the heart. With joy and gratitude, the angel of communication can help, can help you to deepen the understanding between yourself and other people by combining your thoughts and your feelings, like the lyrics and the melody in a beautiful song. If you are trying to discuss feelings or difficult issues with another person but are struggling to find the appropriate words or the right time, First, meditate on, on what you wish to express to that person. Ask the angel of communication to inspire you by revealing to you the appropriate words to use and by prompting you to speak when the time is right. Trust in the outcome, knowing that the angel is with you. So if some of you are having trouble communicating with someone, you don't know how, when, where, you know, kind of energy, or some of you need to strengthen your communication skills also, the angel can help you. So now we have Archangel Zatgil, teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach those ideas to others. So hmm, some of you may have that capability of learning and teaching. You know, learning something and then, you know, having the ability to teach others also. And now we have Archangel Ariel. Courage, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So being courageous and brave, standing up for what you believe in not backing down. And now we have Archangel Raguel, Relationship Harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So bringing in Relationship Harmony for you. Hmm, okay. Could be people, could be family, lover, friends, coworkers. Lapaluluzi. I, I'm not even sure how to say that. So this is a crystal. So if you're interested in crystals, um, we have this one here, Lapis Leluzi, I think you say. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It is a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. And that looks like the Ace of Swords to me. So that is all about aha moment, epiphany, 
truth, clarity, open communication, honest communication, uh, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS as we have courage over here. So, so something in your life may be changing and it may have to do with cutting out things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, speaking with honesty, and over here, you know, standing up for what you believe in. And now we have sodalite. Socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So, you know, maybe joining some social groups, support groups, um, getting out there and just doing some, you know, going out and, you know, go taking, uh, what is that, that, um, you know, you paint and you drink wine, you know, different, try different things. Just get out there and do different things. And now we have rhodochrosite. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So some of you have gone through something here, needing to take the time to heal, recover, rest, rejuvenate. Be gentle with yourself. Care and nourish and pamper yourself. And take the time you need to heal from something here. So let's see. We're going to pull some tarot. One tarot for each card to give a little more meaning. So I do ask Scorpio if you're new. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, hit the bell. If you do subscribe, you'll be notified when I post new readings. Like I said, right now I do a lot of different readings, but I'm not sure what I'm doing moving uh, forward. <coughs> Sorry for no, uh, February. But you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Feel free to subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss out. And if you're new and you want to check out my channel and then leave me a comment below, let me know what you think greatly appreciate it so let's get one card here for each for Scorpio to give a little more meaning to uh, these messages for you and don't forget to I don't know if I mentioned here Scorpio I have the angel answers uh, deck here so if you have a question a concern something you want an answer to or advice or guidance on whatever you're thinking of can be absolutely anything at the end I will pull one of those, see what we get for you. So I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. If I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have mentioned it at the beginning so you could think of what you want to think of while I was doing the reading. But Sorry, I just need to drink. My throat's very scratchy. So we have presence here, and we have the magician. So this is having... <laughs> It's like the same energy there, you know, making your presence known here, manifesting a brand new beginning. It's like, here I am, and this is what I'm setting forth to do into the universe. This is me, and this is who I am, and this is what I'm doing, and making your presence known as you're manifesting forward. <laughs> That's like the energy I'm getting. Like, boom, here I am. This is who I am, what I am, making yourself, it's like the same exact energy there. Wow. So manifesting something new, possibly, or just like saying, yep, this is who I am, moving forward, and like it or not, this is it. This is what you get. <laughs> so now we have harmony, and we have the fool. So this is taking a leap of faith. Uh, this could be something new. I feel like if there's something new you've been wanting to try, to you know, jump into, take a new start, a leap of faith, or just trying something new, um, and you're like, oh, I would really enjoy that, but you haven't done it yet. This is telling you to go for it because I think it'll bring you a lot of peace and harmony and balance. So I think you should go for it. Give it a try. Give it a whirl. All right. So what do we have here? Communication. We have the two of pentacles. So I feel like some of you like feel conflicted, confused, uh, very imbalanced communication, um, not quite sure what to do, what to say, um, not knowing how to communicate in a balanced way. So maybe some of you really need to work on your communication skills is what I'm getting. Or if it has to do with work, maybe you need to speak up more at work also in your career. You know, maybe you're juggling around a lot in your career right now and you're not really saying anything. Maybe you really need to speak up here and say, look, you know, I got too much on my plate. I'm juggling too much. I have too much responsibilities. You know, I can't do all this or whatever here. Um, if it's not that, it could just be the people around you. Maybe you don't stand up for yourself or maybe you don't, you know, 
like stand up to people that you work with also. All right, so now we have teaching and learning, Archangel Zatkiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach those ideas to others. So we have the Three Swords. So, you know, Three Swords is a hurtful, painful energy. So if you've been through something hurtful and painful, um, you know, maybe you've learned a lot of lessons through that journey, and maybe you can share those uh, lessons that you've learned, your advice, your experience on this to others and help them through difficult times also. That's what I'm getting with that. So we have Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So we have the Empress here. So the Empress is someone who is like a mother figure. She's strong, she's courageous, she's brave. She embodies all the queens, kings, doesn't matter whoever's watching this. Um, and she does have confidence. She does have passion. She's got stability. She's got loyalty. She's got um, love and compassion. Kind of it. She's got all the energy of like the whole tarot deck. So, and this is telling you to be in that energy. Know yourself, value your worth, and to stand up and be courageous and stand up for what you believe in. That your values do mean something. So what do we have here? Relationship harmony, Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the, hear, the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So we got the Seven of Swords. So yeah, that can be a little bit of a um, kind of a deceitful energy or uh, someone in like a sneaky kind of energy trying to get away with something. Um, somebody's been sneaking off or sneaking away or, you know, things are, haven't been harmonious. But I think Archangel Raguel, Raguel here is trying to work on this for you and trying to resolve these negative energies for you. And I don't know if it's a third party situation, but I think they're trying hard to um, resolve that. All right, so... We have Lapis Luzi, like changing epiphany or experience. It is a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Like I said, it reminds me of the Ace of Swords. And we have the devil. Woo! Yeah, toxic energy here. Could be addictions, obsessions, uh, just negative energy. You know, people, you know, can be stress, fear, anxiety kind of energy. People that drag you down. So it could be time here to use that Ace of Sword here to cut out all that energy that is no longer serving you, this toxic negative energy around you, realizing the epiphany that uh, something may happen that's kind of like negative and it may bring you this big epiphany that you need to change things and rid yourself of this negative energy. And then we have Sodalite. Socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So we have the high priestess. Yeah, so if you've been like quiet and not joining in, keeping to yourself, you know, staying at home, reading your books or whatever here. You know, the high priestess is very intuitive. She um, knows a lot. She's divinely connected, but she keeps quiet. She keeps to herself. She doesn't socialize or join in. She doesn't talk much she keeps to herself so this is telling you it's time to come out of this energy of just kind of like i'm surprised we didn't get the hermit of just kind of like being quiet and on your own and not joining in it's time to socialize and join in and it could even be spiritual groups for some of you we have rotochrosite be gentle with yourself you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover and we have the moon energy. So, you know, maybe you're not sure how to do that, but the moon is also about deep feelings and emotions. So you could have went through something very emotional here for some of you. And maybe you're not quite sure what's going to happen now moving forward. You know, the path's not exactly clear. You can't see clearly in the moonlight. Could also be about secrets that maybe came to light or secrets being hidden for some. But whatever here, it's telling you to be gentle with yourself 
and take that time to heal and recover, especially if it was something very deep and emotional here with the moon energy. So it's for some. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have temperance, so balancing out your energies and having um, patience with yourself and your situations, peace, harmony, balance, healing energy. And the Prince of Cups, I believe that's the Princess of Cups, so that's the Page of Cups. So this is, you know, loving messages coming in, maybe people who want to support you, be there for you, tell you how they feel, um, could be apologies coming in. And yeah, again, this four pentacle energy of keeping to yourself, holding on to your stability, not really giving or giving out to others. But now it's a time of equal give and take, balance, reciprocity to get out there and have exchange with people and being a more moving forward, a more loving, compassionate energy, having equal exchange with those around you instead of holding back from people. You know, could have apologies coming in or apologies going out or just loving communication coming in or out here. Balancing energy, peace, harmony, healing kind of energy. Patience with those around you, yourself. Okay, Scorpio, whatever you're thinking of at this time, question or concern or whatever here, let's see what we get for you. From the angel answers pertaining to what you're thinking of at this time for Scorpio please from the angel team can we get a card for Scorpio pertaining to what's on their mind at this time please thank you so much one card for there we go the situation will improve so things will improve for you and we have helpful people wow and I had just had said that through this whole thing that um You know, or maybe it was the reading before. I'm sorry. This is my last reading tonight. So, uh, but you may have people helping you. Um, and it could be just your angel team helping you. <laughs> or you could be getting help from people that you're you never expected from also. Or asking for help from others also. Or in that socialize and join in. Could be people that could be very, very helpful to you also. Okay, Scorpio. So, sending you many light of the blessings. Good luck to you. And always, always shine your light.